Wouldn't it be exciting to have an opportunity to explore a collection of fossils hidden away in a dusty laboratory? Look at this one, sometimes called the black skull for obvious reasons. It is dated at two and a half million years. It has a marked crest on the top of its small head and a distinctive face that projects forward. Viewing this skull in three dimensions allows you to get a much better impression of what this species might have looked like. So, welcome to the African Fossils Lab. This virtual space has been modelled on the paleontology laboratories of the National Museums of Kenya and the Turkana Basin Institute. Here we are able to showcase some of the most impressive fossils in the collections and provide a little background to their discoveries. Pick up Zinjanthropus from Tanzania, for instance. It is sometimes called the Nutcracker Man because of its enormous teeth. This skull was discovered at Olduvai Gorge by Mary Leakey in 1959. Compare this to Homo erectus, the purple skull to the left, with a much larger brain than Zinjanthropus and the black skull behind it, now in green. We can put it down again and take a closer look at Homo erectus, the first human ancestor to leave Africa 1.8 million years ago. Homo erectus is ancestral to our own species, Homo sapiens, although it lacked the well-developed forehead that we have. With access to a 3D printer, a teacher could now print a resin copy of some of these skulls to use in a class with their students. Replicas of skulls have until recently been far too costly for most schools to get their hands on. Human ancestors evolved alongside a diverse and interesting fauna that is also exciting to explore. There were giant tortoises, antelopes, monkeys, horses, pigs and elephants. This slender-snouted crocodile was one of five different species that lived in the region that is now northern Kenya some five million years ago. The collection of fossils is considerable and we now have a means to share this diversity of life going back several million years, allowing you to reflect upon our past and perhaps to consider our future. We continue to explore these deposits that you see looking out of the window, and we will add new 3D images of fossils as they're captured. This is a joint venture between the National Museums of Kenya, Autodesk and the Turkana Basin Institute. Enjoy yourself and have a good look around.